Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is Tuesday, May 26th. And today, Tuesday, May 26th, we celebrate the memorial feast of St. Philip Neri. And so we begin our morning prayer today. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship Christ, chief, chief shepherd of the flock. Alleluia. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great king over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the flock. Alleluia. As we uh, continue with morning prayer, uh, just a note I meant to say at the very beginning, since today is the memorial feast of St. Philip Neri, uh, the Psalms with, its, with their antiphon will be from uh, the third week of the Psalter. This will make sense, I promise. Well, this might make sense. Come from the third week of the Psalter for Tuesday, but the reading and the, with its responsory and the antiphon for the Canticle of Zechariah, all of that comes from the, the common of pastors today. Uh, for Philip Neri. So in iBrievery, if you're following along there, you can just uh, swipe toggle over to make sure that you're on the feast day. So we begin with the hymn. The King of love, my shepherd is, whose goodness fails me never. I nothing lack if I am his, and he is mine forever. Where streams of living water flow, to rest my soul, he leads me, where fresh and fertile pastures grow, with heavenly food he feeds me. My heart and my flesh, wait. There we go. You will turn back to God and bring us to life, and your people re will rejoice in you. Alleluia. Lord, you once favored your land and revived the fortunes of Jacob. You forgave the guilt of your people and covered all their sins. You averted all your rage. You calmed the heat of your anger. Revive us now, God, our helper. Put an end to your grievance against us. Will you be angry with us forever? Will your anger never cease? Will you not restore again our life, that your people may rejoice in you? Let us see, O Lord, your mercy, and give us your saving help. I will hear what the Lord God has to say a voice that speaks of peace, peace for his people and his friends, and those who turn to him in their hearts. His help is near for those who fear him, and his glory will dwell in our land. Mercy and faithfulness have met. 
justice and peace have embraced. Faithfulness shall spring from the earth, and justice look down from heaven. The Lord will make us prosper, and our earth shall yield its fruit. Justice shall march before him, and peace shall follow in his steps. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Show us your mercy, Lord. Our misery is known to us. May no evil desires prevail over us, for your glory and your love dwell in our hearts. You will turn back, O God, and bring us to life, and your people will rejoice in you. Alleluia. We have placed all our hope in the Lord, and he has given us his peace. Alleluia. A strong city have we. He sets up walls and ramparts to protect us. Open up the gates to let in a nation that is just, one that keeps faith. A nation of firm purpose you keep in peace, in peace for its trust in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord is an eternal rock. The way of the just is smooth, the path of the just you make level. Yes, for your way and your judgments, O Lord, we look to you, and your name and your title are the desires of our are the desire of our souls. My soul yearns for you in the night. Yes, my spirit within me keeps vigil for you. When your judgment dawns upon the earth, the world's inhabitants learn justice. O Lord, you mete out peace to us, for it is you who have accomplished all we have done. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We have placed all our hope in the Lord, and he has given us his peace. Alleluia. The earth has yielded its fruit. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy. Alleluia. O God, be gracious and bless us, and let your face shed its light upon us. So will your ways be known upon earth, and all nations learn your saving help. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and exult, for you rule the world with justice. With fairness you rule the peoples. You guide the nations on earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. The earth has yielded its fruit, for God our God has blessed us. May God still give us his blessing, till the ends of the earth revere him. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Be gracious and bless us, Lord, and let your face shed its light on us so that we can make you known with reverence and bring forth a harvest of justice. The earth has yielded its fruit. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy. Alleluia. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Remember your leaders who spoke the word of God to you, and consider how their lives ended, and imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Do not be carried away by all kinds of strange teaching. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. On your walls, Jerusalem, I have set my watchmen to guard you. Alleluia, alleluia. On your walls, Jerusalem, I have set my watchmen to guard you. Alleluia, alleluia. Day or night, they will not cease to proclaim the praise of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. On your walls, Jerusalem, I have set my watchmen to guard you. Alleluia, alleluia. What you say of me does not come from yourselves. It is the Spirit of my Father speaking in you. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. 
He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. What you say of me does not come from yourselves. It is the Spirit of my Father speaking in you. Alleluia. Christ is the Good Shepherd who laid down his life for his sheep. Let us praise and thank him as we pray. Nourish your people, Lord. Christ, you decided to show your merciful love through your holy shepherds. Let your mercy always reach us through them. Nourish your people, Lord. Through your vicars, you continue to perform the ministry of shepherd of souls. Direct us always through our leaders. Nourish your people, Lord. Through your holy ones, the leaders of your people, you served as physician of our bodies and our spirits. Continue to fulfill the ministry of life and holiness in us. Nourish your people, Lord. You taught your flock through the prudence and love of your saints. Grant us continual growth in holiness under the direction of our pastors. Nourish your people, Lord. We pray also this morning, remembering and calling to mind all of those who have asked for our prayers and all of those that we've promised to pray for. Remembering those we know who are sick, particularly those who are struggling with disease, uh, with any particular illnesses, struggling with cancers or their treatments. We pray for those who are struggling with, struggling with mental illness, those who struggle with depression or anxiety, who are being overwhelmed by fear and worry, for those struggling with dark thoughts of suicide or self-harm, praying that they would be set free from these, from these burdens, that they would be healed. We pray for those who have the coronavirus, for healing and recovery for all of them too, for our doctors, our nurses and healthcare workers, for all of those who are not working right now, that they would know their worth and their dignity before the Lord. We pray for the people of St. Patrick, St. Anthony Parish, especially during this in-between time between the Ascension and Pentecost, for a new outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon each of us in our parish. And we pray for all of our beloved dead. We pray for the repose of the soul of Father Ernie Bernat, and pray for the repose of the soul of Father Dan Morrow. Gathering these prayers, those that we do have and hold in the silence of our heart, we ask the Lord to hear our prayers as we use his sacred words. And so together we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Father, you continually raise up your faithful to the glory of holiness. In your love, kindle in us the fire of the Holy Spirit, who so filled the heart of Philip Neri. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. All right, brothers and sisters, I hope, thank you for being here to pray with me. I, uh, I miss all of you terribly, looking so forward uh, to when we can be back together um, at Holy Mass. And so, friends, uh, I hope that you have a, a beautiful day. Again, uh, the sun looks like it is certainly shining. I see, I don't see any clouds. So, beautiful, shiny, sunny blue skies smiling at me. So, um, have a beautiful day. May God bless you. And remember to be safe today, to be happy today, to be healthy today. But above all, remember to be holy today. And may God bless each of you.